Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with another binder video that um, I found some a whole bunch of binders and boxes and tubs from the antique mall and we're just going binder by binder, box by box, whatever, uh, kind of taking an overlook of what I got. Um, every sticker price you see is not what I paid, is 30% off, so this one was about $10 for this binder. It's supposed to be football cards. Um, I didn't flip through this one much at the store, but what intrigued me was just uh, I saw some 80s cards that maybe I didn't have, so I was taking a chance on it. So let's see if there's if it's just junk or if it's any good. So you guys be the judge. We'll just look at some cards. Let's go ahead get that in frame there. So first off the bat, we got the 84 Steve Largent Instant Replay card. Few other 90s and 80s players and they are front to back I think I need to move some stuff there we go a little better there got Andre Tippett Hall of Famer there a lot of 93 upper deck probably not going to keep most of these pages yet some of them are in good shape then it goes to like 1998 tops. Looks like we got some uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I don't know. Looks like they cut them though to make them fit in the page, sadly. Um, I think these were like, weren't these from like the police station or something like that? They hand them out. So for my Chiefs fans there, we got Brandon. Some fellow collectors there. Too many in the name. <laughs> but uh, possible future Hall of Famer here, Duran Cherry. So definitely he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. Just seems to get forgotten about. He was really good. Um, just wish they wouldn't have cut him, though. I think they would have liked him complete, but we'll save him. We'll salvage him. Some of these pages, they like put the cards in upside down. That's really bizarre. <laughs> I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> that always bugs me. And they put in. I didn't know Reggie Roby played for the Redskins. So, punter. I believe he's gone now. There's a few inserts in here too. That I saw real quick, like um, this Troy Aikman card that I didn't have. So I was like, yeah, even these are kind of cool. Like the four players and the sticker cards. Got a nice Fred Taylor. I kind of PC him. I don't know, for some reason, I, I got some of his rookie cards in somewhere from like a Walgreens pack or something. And many years ago, and I just always collected his cards for some reason. So, even though I'm not a Jaguars fan, although I was was going to root for him if they would have kept Tebow, that's for sure. Got some '93 Bowman mixed in with a few '94 tops randomly. I still just have not gotten this person's organization. I guess they're just. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't figured it out. There's an Andre Reed. This one's uh, some sort of a parallel. The 94 tops. We got Tony Hill and Dwight Clark. Leslie Frazier from 84 tops. So we're getting a few more 80s guys. Um, we've got a few more of those Chiefs. Willie Lanier. So, looks like it's like maybe some all time Chiefs or something set like that. Really wish they wouldn't have cut them, but yeah, <laughs> there they are. There's a nice Brett Favre I don't have. Classic Pro Line. Todd Collins rookie card there. We're nearly done with this one. Some more 84. Tops football. 
which is uncommon, guys. So number 99, we have lots of for 99, so those are probably all duplicates. We have John Owen. Ricky Jackson, Hall of Famer. A Bobby Hoyne, rookie. Got Steve Young, I think I have this one, but double check that. Cordell Stewart. A lot for 98. So a lot of 98, 99, 93, 94, and 84 in here, looks like mostly. Got Steve McNair, rookie. Got some more cheese. Joe Montana. So I seem to put the Chiefs on the back and other teams in the front. And so anyways, we've got a random Ken Griffey Jr. baseball card in there. Centaur's got a couple more Brett Favre's. Three more Brett Favre's actually. And then there's a Coca-Cola ad folder. <laughs> I don't know if anybody collects Coca-Cola. There you go. You can have that if you want. Doesn't look, appear to be yet. This was apparently belonged to Ryan Buntkowski. So there we go. We know. Whoever owned this binder, his name was Ryan, I guess. Interesting. So. There you go. Well, that's another binder down. Let me know what you guys thought. We thought it was worth the $10. So, talk to you guys all later. Bye.